study math. Today we're going to talk about moving averages. So let's begin. In the previous videos, we talked about average, how to calculate average, and weighted average, and how to calculate them. Now let's move forward and talk about moving averages. Moving averages can also be called as rolling averages. So now let's move on and talk about what is the moving average. It is an average of the subsets of the entire data. It is a technique to get an overall idea of the trends in a data set. It is extremely useful for forecasting long term trends. It is commonly used in capital markets for analyzing the prices of the stock. It is used to indicate buy and sell signals to traders and investors. Now let's move on and talk about types of moving averages. There are three major types of moving averages, which are simple moving average, weighted moving average, and exponential moving average. Now let's move on and understand how to calculate moving averages. Simple moving average is calculated by adding numbers over a certain period and dividing the sum by the total number of periods. Let's see the moving average formula to help us. C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus so on plus Cn over n, where C1, C2, C3, so on, Cn stands for the data points, and n stands for the number of data points. Now let's move on and see how to calculate the three-day moving averages and describe the trends. So here we have the temperatures measured last week in San Francisco, California. And here we have the seven day high temperatures measured in Fahrenheit. Here we have a table. In our table we have days, high temperatures measured in Fahrenheit, and how to calculate moving average, and last but not least, moving average values. So here you can see that July 19th and the 20th do not have moving averages. But why? Why is that? That is because we do not have enough data. So let's check July 21st. In July 21st, we have enough data to find our average. We'll find the average of the three previous days, which is 61 plus 63 plus 66 over three. If we solve this, we will get 63 as our moving average value for July 21st. Now let's move on and talk about July 22nd. We will find the average of the three previous days, which will give us 65 as our moving average for July 22nd. Now let's move on and talk about July 23rd. We'll find the average of the three previous days, which will give us 67 as our moving average for July 23rd. Now let's move on to July 24th. We'll find the average of the three previous days and we will get 69 as our moving average for July 24th. Last but not least, let's move on to July 25th. We will find the average of the three previous days and we will get 70 as our moving average for July 25th. Now let's move on and talk about the three day moving average trends. So here we have moving averages we found. So here we have the actual high temperature and the moving averages we found. And here we have a line graph. In our line graph, we have the three day moving average trends. So the blue line is the actual high temperature and the orange line is the one the moving average we have found. Since moving averages are increasing, the general trend is that the temperatures are rising. 
Let's review what we learned today and see one interesting example. like and share it and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching